KBC Lunchtime News on this 13th day of August 2021. A very busy day and the weekend is finally here. We have a comprehensive bulletin right here. And of course today is a somber day in Kenjokoma where the two brothers who died under unclear circumstances are being laid to rest. Other than that we have a comprehensive bulletin here. Local, international, business and also sports. My name is Ben Troy Njue and Lucy Mwaura will be our sign language interpreter for this afternoon. Kindly, your comment, suggestion, or even where you are watching us from on all our social media platform, and I'll be more than glad to sample some during and at the end of this live cast. Welcome. We now begin at the coast where Interior Cabinet Secretary Dr. Fred Matiangi is giving an update on uh, the businessman, Turkish businessman Ayadin, who was deported. And uh, actually, we will be having that comprehensive report. And right now, he is currently addressing, and we have more. I think we are reading from the same page, all of us, including the CS. Uh, let, let that meeting happen. Let everything be said, then you can share, even if it's in camera, it's allowed by our standing orders. And uh, just like you said earlier about the security in Baringo, that at one time you will have to name and shame some people who are involved in this insecurity themselves and our leaders. Even in this one, the moment you are completely done with it, and if we find we can lay our hand on anybody, including the chair of this committee, uh, let us tell Kenyans who the chair is for who he is. Honorable Sis. Thank you. Uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Chairman, honorable members. Thank you very much. Um, I, I agree with you on um, all the issues you have raised. We, we, we are going to look at, in, particularly, the, this issue about VIP travel and, and private travel in and out of the country. We look at that. I mean, we, we are a country that um, believes and uh, we respect freedoms, uh, as, I, as expected. But you see, we also have to do the law, and we have to do things for the good order of the, of, of the country. I, I agree with you. At some point, uh, you know, in an income session, I can share with you the privileged information that we have shared with some of our sister intelligence and security agencies. And uh, as you know, as a security committee, uh, the, some of this may be privileged information, but uh, I can tell you without a shadow of doubt and confirm to you that uh, all those issues that have been drawn to our attention, when, when a sister intelligence or security organization from a neighboring country flags someone, uh, they, we trust them and uh, they trust us because that's how we work. And when they raise issues, when they tell us this person is keeping the company of money launderers, such as in this particular case, uh, you know, we trust them. And, and, and they point out this person has come here, they are engaged with so and so, who already has been, uh, you know, uh, doing uh, uh, criminal activities. We trust them. And that is how we, we work and succeed. And I can assure you, as the committee that is supervising us, that uh, we, we acted in absolute consideration of the security of the country. This particular character is actually um, uh, an interesting uh, 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 character in terms of security. He's, he's a criminal engaged in, in, in legal activities and, and, and so on and so forth. There is no amount of dressing up that anyone can do uh, you know, about, uh, about this person. And it would actually be shameful for a country and, and, and of our size, and the country that enjoys the respect we enjoy uh, in the world, to tolerate these kinds of people uh, around us and try to call them uh, investors. He is not. Thank you. All right, all right, all right. I, I think uh, we are done with that matter. That uh, is the government position shooting straight from the hip. Interior Cabinet Secretary saying the government and the ministry will not apologize for the det detainment of controversial Turkish businessman. And of course, they're talking about uh, the businessman uh, having shoddy dealings. And that is why he was deported. Of course, committing that the government will be on top of things when it comes to matter security. Our reporter, Junaid.